This coffee tastes a lot better today. You know what? <laughs> Never mind. What is up guys, Abdul here. New studio, new intro, another day, another vid, another vid, another me, and the list goes on. Have you seen a picture of me floating in the air? I posted the picture on my Instagram. People were like, Abdul, how did you do that? Uh, you jumped? Didn't you hurt yourself? And I was like, what? You thought I jumped that higher? Like laying in the air? No, no way that could happen. Well, folks, that's what we're going to talk about today in this video. Talk about or show, show you or talk about. That's what I'm going to show you in this video today. Get your coffee. Kunin Samia. Juice, popcorn, whatever. We're about to dive into this thing. And we are outside. So this is like easiest method to do that, you know. So step one, we're gonna take a picture of the background so that we can insert ourselves in it. Come with me. I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. About to see. Step two. We're gonna use this here so that we can lean on it and make ourselves float. Oh. Nope. <laughs> and uh, that's pretty much it. So let's go back and make the magic happen. Okay, so we are back. Now the magic is that we are going to use that background frame that we snapped and then another frame of Khalid floating on the chair. And then we're just merging those in Photoshop, removing the chair. So now the chair is used because you can get way more meticulous, harder to reach like angles in the directions i mean you're not just gonna jump in the air and be like hope for the best i mean if you jump and fall on your back you'll never walk again <laughs> i'm just kidding ah abdul please just stop talking all right let's fire up photoshop and do this follow me open up photoshop make sure you have the background photo and the float photo we'll call it and then you're gonna copy that float photo and paste it on the background okay so now what i like to do is change the opacity a little bit so that I can line them up as close as possible. Yeah, there it is. Okay, so now let's change the opacity back to 100. Then we're gonna add a layer mask. Click on your layer, layer one. Come down here and click on this little icon. Then select your lasso tool or pen tool. You can use a pen tool, but the reason why I use the polygonal lasso tool is that it's more efficient. So now let's zoom into the picture. Yeah, there we go. So we are masking up the chair. So all we need to do is select around the chair. Let's start here. Click. Click. Click again. Let me speed this pass a little bit. All right then. So now we're gonna come back to the first point and click on it. 
then it makes a selection. Once we are done with that, hit B to select your brush tool. Boom! Make sure your foreground is black. Make sure you're on your mask layer. Change the size to somewhere around 50. Hardness should be around 90%. Right there. And then all you have to do is paint away and that vanishes this tool. And I highly recommend you taking your time to do it as perfect as you can. The more time you take, the better your photo will be. Essentially, we are painting away to the layer beneath which has nothing in it. Which is why that chair is able to disappear. So you can see it's a little sloppy if I take more time. I won't have that kind of weird forms around the background. Okay, now all we have to do is click Ctrl D. <gasps> Look at that! So the same thing goes for the chair at the bottom. We're also gonna select the lasso tool again. Click. We are gonna mask out the chair again. I'm doing this probably even faster than I should be. I should be doing this a lot slower for the sake of, you know, not keeping you guys here for a full day. Just take your time, figure out what's best for you, what's like, what best for you. And then I'm probably done. Poof. And that is it guys. Now we have our finished photo that we can continue color grading and do whatever we want. I mean, however your style is. I hope you enjoyed this video. I love this kind of photos. If you are trying this out today and you're doing it yourself, totally tag me on Instagram. I'd love to see you guys floating your photos. Hit that like button if you like this video. Smash it if that's something that you're into. Poof, poof, poof. 20, 20 style. Sorry, that was a mess. Subscribe if you haven't already. And guess what? I will see you in the next video. See ya. Goodbye. Peace. <laughs> she has to the first video. <laughs>